Aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul, and I'm very happy to be connecting with you today on my Facebook live stream. It is a Tuesday. It is the 15th of August, and it is an awesome day, a day in which I have been doing nonstop running, but I'm very grateful that you've joined me today. Uh, today, I will be teaching and doing blessings, lots and lots and lots of practice and blessings, for soul tapping, for releasing stress. So show of hands, who's got a lot of stress? And will also at the same time be manifesting. So it's, uh, it's a great way to actually uh, double up, if you will, the value of soul tapping. It is a little known and uh, even less used, um, very, very, very powerful technique. Soul tapping is not the same as what you know as EFT or emotional freedom technique or other forms of tapping. So I will guide you today on those differences, but uh, you can literally apply it just about anywhere, no matter what the condition. You can even apply soul tapping to serve others, which is pretty cool. So that's what you can expect today for those that are just tuning in, wondering what is this soul tapping and how can I use it for releasing my stress? <clears throat> so for those who are not familiar with me, my name is Master Paul. And I am a certified master teacher from the Tao Academy. I uh, have been offering uh, this wisdom and teaching on live stream for well over a year now and have quite a, uh, quite a lot of people who are grateful for the wisdom. I offer my gratitude to my teacher, Master Shah. And uh, I give all the credit to him, including any of the blessings that he offer, which in many cases can be miracle level blessings. Um, I would not have these abilities if it wasn't for my teacher. So I give my credit to him. <clears throat> I invite all of those that um, who might not be able to stay and wish they could to subscribe uh, on my Facebook page. You'll then know when I go live. And if you like me and friend me, then also you will have access to my page, which you can always watch the recordings there. Okay? There's even an archive listed uh, above this video, how to access the archives. So in that way, you can watch on your leisure. Also, uh, for those that prefer uh, listening on the go, uh, each week I download the videos and turn them into audio podcasts, which I post uh, on iTunes and various other locations as well as my website. So if you prefer uh, podcasts, there are ways in which you can listen via audio. So thank you all for those who have joined me. I'm going to connect with each of you and say aloha and hello. Welcome, Angie. Welcome, Elizabeth. Aloha, Janice. Aloha to Kristen and Archana. <coughs> Aloha, Eva. And welcome to Pat. Aloha to uh, Sean Paul. Welcome, Rebecca Gray. Welcome also, Jessica and Deborah Miller. And welcome, Chloe. Aloha, Kristen. Welcome also to Carolyn Black. And Dana Knapp. Good to see you here, Dana. Welcome also to Danielle Serena. Welcome, Ali. <clears throat> Aloha to uh, Karen Hogan. Welcome also to, let me do this. Make this a little bit easier to see on my computer. All right. Welcome also to uh, Shirley Schuster and Carla Simpson. Welcome, Nels. A lot of folks joining today. Wonderful. Welcome, CJ. Aloha, Pecha Marie. Welcome also to Shelly Maritza Wilburn and Debbie Davenport. Aloha. And welcome to Melissa Heimerman. Thank you all for joining. If I missed you, please forgive me. Uh, I do the best I can. Can't always catch up to everybody. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's live stream. We received a, a big popular vote, a big thumbs up. You know, my days are so busy, I actually have to go, what did I teach on yesterday? <laughs> I'm sure it'll come to me. But uh, I know we, we reached up to 50 people live and, and many thousands after that. And then I've also been receiving some positive comments uh, from those responding to my Facebook messages. <clears throat> if you haven't received it yet, hopefully you will. But I'll do a little calling out now for those that did not hear it. I am offering a... Um, a advanced group private teaching on a separate webcast, not through Facebook. And this will be for your five major spiritual channels and your seven chakras, as well as the energy and matter channel. 
all of these collectively affect our health, our finances, our relationships, and they absolutely affect our spiritual channels. So I'm, I'm advertising it as opening your spiritual channels or uh, uh, awakening your spiritual channels. But the little known fact is that if we have health issues, it's directly related to all of these things that I'm working on. If we have financial blockages, it's directly related. If you're having trouble with relationships, finding relationship or keeping healthy ones, trust me, all of these blockages are karmic and they're stuck in our major chakras and our channels. So when we clear them as a natural side effect, things get easier, better. And as a natural side effect, it's more easy to communicate with heaven, divine Tao source, open our third eye, etc. So I encourage you to learn more about that. Kristen, who is uh, just awesome, uh, will post the uh, link in her chat box and uh, you can follow that and learn more about it. Okay. So welcome also to uh, Carol Labas. Welcome, Christopher Ron. <coughs> Aloha to uh, Stephanie. And welcome to Helena Yakman. Welcome, Crane. Welcome also to Haley Donaldson and Suki Singh. Hi, Angie. Aloha, Susan Birchmore. And if I missed anybody, again, please forgive me. So let us go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul. I hope the volume is okay. I don't have a microphone today. I'm working off of the, uh, the mic associated with this camera because today I'm not working off of my cell phone. I'm working off of the, um, my desktop computer. So my voice is about two feet away from the microphone. So I hope you can hear me well. I'll do the best I can. You might have to turn up your speakers a bit. But let us connect, placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position, which is a hand mudra, dropping the left hand in front of the heart center, the right hand gently pointed towards heaven. Close our eyes. Let's prepare for the day or release the day. Deep breath in. Breathing down to your lower abdomen into your Ming Min energy center point. Another deep breath in. Fully breathing out. Ooh. Breathe out the day. Breathe out the stress. Breathe out everything. Another deep breath in. <coughs> breathe out the blockages of the day. If your day is beginning, breathe in the light and release any negativity. Let us begin. Dear our beloved creator, all layers of the divine down the source. I love you, honor you, respect you. I ask for your presence. We ask all angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifu, saints, buddhas, and bodhisattvas. We ask and invite our beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Buddha and Kuan Yin. We invite all of our heaven's teams, guides, angels, and saints, all beings of light, to please come to be with us at this time. <clears throat> As appropriate, come to sit in our heart centers. Bless each and every one who watches this or listens to this in the future to fully develop and open our heart and soul. Dear the soul of soul tapping, the soul of all of the wisdoms for releasing our stress and bringing forth our manifestations. Could you please come at this time? Be with each and every one of us. Assist me with offering the highest and best teachings so that we can all receive the greatest wisdom and attain the greatest success. Dear the soul of the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, transmitted to all souls and all universes, I love you, I honor you, respect you. <clears throat> we ask that you please turn on. And we ask all souls and all universes to chant with us as we chant to connect heart to heart, soul to soul. So for anyone new just tuning in, the mantra that I'm about to chant is a mantra that's been translated into 43 languages, and it is chanted all over the world in six continents. You can download it complimentary. There is no copyright, and it is encouraged that you chant it often and that you share the song. For now, just make a request because it is a blessing. <clears throat> for all that wish to serve, please join. Please chant with me. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, 
la li lu la lu la li lu la lu la li lu la wo ai wo xin er li wo ai zhen ren li wang li ro er mu shi shang xiang ai ping on de xie xiang ai ping on de xie ai la my heart and soul i love all humanity to my heart and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony ha 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 thank you thank you thank you I could chant for hours. I have chanted for hours. <clears throat> the song is so beautiful, very healing, very soothing, very, very purifying. So if you have stress in your life, write this down. Download the song. Find Kristen's post on Love, Peace, and Harmony. Download the song. If you don't know how to download, go to the YouTube video and when the video is popped up on your screen, put your cursor on the video, right click, and choose the word loop, and it will play in the background, okay? I tell you, the simplest way is always the best way. Love, peace, and harmony is one of the most stress-relieving things you can add to your life. Have it play at work, have it play in your car, have it play in your home. 24 7 if you don't do this don't blame me for the stress in your life i am not saying this for any other reason it's a free song i have no reason to say it it's been the copyright's been removed and given to humanity why would i tell you to do this if there wasn't a reason this webcast is how to de-stress using certain practices like soul tapping but soul tapping is when you do it love peace and harmony is constantly de-stressing you 24-7. Who wouldn't want that? It will also serve you to manifest. Who wouldn't want that? So uh, listen carefully to my words. If you have not already done so, put this song on at work, on volume one, so nobody hears it. No one can get irritated with you. Put it on a loop 24-7. Play it in your car. You will have less stress when you drive, less accidents if you have any at all, it will save your life. I'm not mincing words here, guys. I'm giving you very high wisdom. Okay? Trust me. So welcome also to Shelly Maritza. Welcome also to Julia Lawrence, to Diane Marquez. Aloha, Candy. Welcome also to uh, Debbie D'Antonio. Aloha. Welcome, Patty Laramore. Welcome, Kristen Strachan and Don Robinson, Michelle Gill. Welcome, Deborah. And aloha, Marissa. Welcome, Mary Greenlaw. Aloha to Jennifer and Ben. Welcome also to Alicia. And welcome to <coughs> Allison. Uh, Aloha, Robret and C. McGill. So I might have mentioned your name twice. Uh, double blessings. If I haven't mentioned your name, triple blessings for those whose names are not mentioned uh, are always seen by heaven. So thank you again for joining. A big crowd today. What does that mean? Lots of stress. What's the fastest solution to not have it? Love, peace, harmony, forgiveness, okay? So let's do some more of that. Today, I'm gonna to offer a little bit of wisdom from this book called Soul Wisdom. Isn't that cute? Wisdom from the book called Soul Wisdom. So this book was written by my teacher, Master Shah. There is his picture there, and very small picture, but anyway, uh, he is an extraordinary servant to humanity, has written about 20 books, uh, 11 now have reached New York Times bestsellers, which is in and of itself extraordinary. And accordingly, uh, the wisdom in his books save people's lives. It certainly helps them on their soul journey. <coughs> um, and each and every uh, webcast that I do is 
to take snippets of his wisdom and bring it into our everyday life. And for those that continue to return and do the practices, they start to see their life leveling up and getting better and better. Now, some of you are getting, uh, getting beat up pretty good, uh, but it's important to understand that, as mentioned before, this is a soul journey, not a physical journey. And your soul does not not want you to suffer. If you are suffering, all you need to do more of is love, forgiveness. Just those two things. If you focus on love and forgiveness, follow yesterday's teaching of being in a place of gratitude uh, so that you can be positive. If you missed that, go back to yesterday's. It's all about being positive and staying in a place of gratitude. I know, I know, I know, I know it's not easy when you're getting your head beat in. But it is the truly highest solution when we're in the process of growth, okay? This is another way in which we can accomplish this, okay? So let's take an example that you're at work, right? Work tends to be a place of stress for a lot of us. <clears throat> you can apply this form of soul tapping anywhere. You're in traffic and you have to be somewhere in 15 minutes and you know it's probably not going to happen. You uh, are at work and you're irritated because you're hearing gossip about you. Uh, you name the event that brings you stress. You can apply this anywhere. All you have to do is remember it. If you apply this in combination with the soul song of love, peace, and harmony like we do today, you will get a hundredfold benefit. Okay, if you want to know if a pear is sweet, you have to bite into the pear. If you want to know if what I'm saying is true, you have to practice it, especially other than today's practice. All right, so let's move into it. So, what is soul tapping? Soul tapping is soul guided tapping. The tapping you may be familiar with says, Tap here, tap here under the eyebrow, tap here under the left chin, tap here along the arm in a certain place. These are very specific tappings based on a preconception that there are certain spots that release negative perspective, mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs. I do believe they work. I have no question about their efficacy. Soul-guided tapping works on a higher understanding. Soul-guided tapping recognizes that your soul has the intelligence of all lifetimes. Your soul knows exactly the karma that has brought you the conditions that are bringing you, in this case, stress or a lack of manifestation. Your soul knows these things, and it knows exactly how to bring about resolve. The problem is we are not attuned to our soul in most cases very well. <clears throat> so if you'd like to attune more to your soul, join my 12-week program. Back to our current uh, webcast. So now, when you do soul tapping, it's very simple. You recognize what your, your area of suffering is. So in, in, even though we're using this today for de-stressing and we're using it today for manifesting, you can actually apply this for releasing pain. You can apply it for just about anything because the wisdom across the board is the same. So don't square your head that I can only do this for what Master Paul is talking about. No, 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 no. You can use this in almost any area of your life, okay? Why does it work? The reason soul tapping works is because <clears throat> your soul knows where your blockages are. If you follow the uh, mind over matter version, which is tap here, tap here, tap here, tap here, that is a mind over matter. What is above the mind? The heart. What is above the heart? The soul. So when you follow soul-guided tapping, your soul might lead you to tap the bottom of your foot. Your soul might guide you to lie down to bring one leg over your head and tap an area on your buttocks. If you're truly in the moment, when you follow soul-guided tapping, you will release the blockage. Your soul knows exactly the source and the release points. So generally speaking, the front of the hand represents the front of the body. The back of the hand represents the back of the body. So you could, <laughs> instead of lying on your back, tapping your butt, you could simply connect to the sole of your hand and ask your soul to tap the front of your hand if the blockages are in the front of your body, or tap the back of your hand if the blockages happen to be in the back of your body. 
your soul knows exactly where to tap. And that's what we're going to do today, okay? Be very comfortable with if you decide that your hands want to go somewhere else, like over here on top of your head or anywhere else, perfectly okay. That's your soul leading you to go somewhere else. We're just going to keep this simple today and use our hands to guide the tapping. Now, the second part of this, uh, first part is releasing the stress. The second part of this is manifesting. We can do it together or separate. It really doesn't matter. I am a big fan of multitasking. I like to be able to do a couple things at once, especially when it comes to uh, offering myself healing blessings. I like to release the pain and release the stress and bring financial blessings if I can. Why not? My soul is intelligent enough to accomplish this. Your soul is intelligent enough to accomplish it. We just need to realize that and get our monkey mind out of the way. Okay? So let's do this practice together. As always, we employ the four power techniques, which is body power, sound power, mind power, and soul power. And we always employ forgiveness. This combination brings miracles. We just have to do it and work with it. All right? <coughs> Take a moment and acknowledge all those who have joined us. Welcome also to Melinda Kylam. Welcome Christy Baker. Welcome Amy Hubrick. Welcome also to Richie Souter. And anybody else that may have joined, welcome. <clears throat> we start by placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position, dropping the left hand in the front of the heart center, right hand gently pointed towards heaven. Close your eyes. This is our opportunity to release the stress and to manifest. My eyes may be open. Your eyes need to be closed to receive the greatest benefits. <clears throat> Fully connect. Repeat after me. Dear all of beings of light, divine down source, my beloved creator, all those who have come to this practice today, I am deeply humbled, honored, and grateful for your presence. I wish to sincerely, sincerely ask forgiveness for not acknowledging you, your light, your love, your guidance, your protection, and your presence. I wish to sincerely apologize for not connecting to my soul and to you more often. I ask most humbly for your blessings today to assist me in clearing my blockages, especially blockages associated with mindsets, attitudes, belief, ego, and attachments that are the source of my stress. Please bless me to see, hear, and respond differently when those outside of me bring conditions to my life that have previously created stress. Please bless me to release my negative mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs, ego, and attachments so that I respond in a more loving, kind, honoring compassionate manner to myself and to others. I am very grateful. Thank you. Continue to repeat. Dear all the souls in all lifetimes, if I or my ancestors have offered unpleasant thoughts, words, or actions, if we have spoken or thought or acted in such a way that you experienced high levels of stress, I sincerely and humbly apologize. I know that I and my ancestors have done this because I am experiencing unpleasant stress in my life. So it is clear to me that I and my ancestors have caused it in other people's lives. I sincerely apologize and ask your unconditional forgiveness. I offer you my unconditional forgiveness for any reminders of stress you have brought into my life. 
Dear the soul, dear my soul, dear the soul of soul tapping, could you please guide my tapping? Thank you. Dear the soul of my right hand, could you please tap my left hand? If my blockage for stress is on the front side of my body, please tap the front side of my hand. If my blockage is on the back side of my body, please tap the back side of my hand. Thank you. I am very grateful. Now let us do a practice, forgiveness practice, for finances, and we will include that in our tapping. Dear the soul of my finances, I love you. You have the power to increase my financial flourishing. You have the power to release blockages that I am holding on to. Do a good job. Thank you. Dear all souls in all time, if I or my ancestors have harmed your financial conditions by greed, by corruption, by lies or deceit, by inappropriate transactions, thoughts, words, or actions, if I or my ancestors have kept you from a higher financial paying position, or have taken away your livelihood in any manner, I most humbly and sincerely apologize. I understand now the nature of this forgiveness, for I have suffered in my finances. I ask most humbly for your forgiveness, and I will continue to serve to earn it. I offer you my unconditional forgiveness if you have brought financial suffering to me as a reminder, and I ask for you to forgive me. Dear the soul of soul tapping, dear the soul of my right hand, can you please tap my left hand or any part of my body to release my financial blockages? Please release my negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs, old memories, ego, and attachments that have kept me from flourishing my financial conditions. I am very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> now we will chant Love, Peace, and Harmony. That's our sound power. For creative visualization, everywhere you tap, visualize heaven's light coming in. Visualize countless beings of light, heaven's animals. All of these saints are coming to your area of your body where you're tapping, and they're flashing their light there. Heaven's animals are swooping in, taking out the darkness. Visualize tremendous power coming to your area of tapping, clearing the blockages, while we chant love, peace, and harmony. Let us start tapping wherever your soul guides you. Lu la lu la li. Lu la lu la la li. Lu la lu la li lu la. Lu la li lu la. Lu la li lu la. As you tap, see the light blasting into the area like bolts of lightning, blasting away the blockages. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Joy hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Please repeat. Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony. I love you. 
as I tap, can you please radiate your highest blessings and frequencies to all of my blockages? Please bless me to release my stress. Please bless me to clear my financial restrictions. Please bless me to manifest all my positive thoughts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lula, 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 Oh, <laughs> I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, 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 Lula. Remember, every time you tap, see the flashes of light blasting away all the negativity, all the minds of and beliefs. All of the stress, see the light radiating. All heaven's animals, heaven's saints are swooping in, clearing the blockages. Lula, 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 La li lu la lu la li lu la lu la li lu la wo ai wo xin na li wo ai tu men le I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Eloha my Hawaiian. Eloha 
Aloha, maluhi aloha. <coughs> Silently continue to tap. Pay attention. Pay attention. Where are your hands guiding you to? Notice any vibration in your body as a result of where you are tapping. See the light coming in to the area, radiating to your body. Even though the light blasts into the point where you tap, it goes through your whole body. Whoosh, 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 blowing out the darkness. Whoosh, 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 clearing out the sadness. Whoosh, 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 clearing out the grief. Clearing out the anger, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Clearing out the frustration, continue to tap. See the light, whoosh, whoosh. Clearing out the negative mindsets, negative attitudes, whoosh, whoosh. Clearing out the negative beliefs, clearing out the attachments, whoosh, whoosh. Every time you tap, blasting out the blockages in your entire body. Continue to blast out the blockages. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula. You are free to tap your other hand, your head, other parts of your body. Follow your soul's guidance. Some of you maybe need to stand up. Maybe you need to really deeply impact your body. Some people may need to tap very gentle. Some people may need to tap very heavy. Follow your soul's guidance. Divine flexibility. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> love, peace. And harmony. Remember, your ears and your feet have acupuncture points directly related to all of the areas of your body. By tapping them, you can release significant blockages as well. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity join hearts and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony if you know that you have significant emotional blockages Tap the center of your heart center, your heart chakra. Connect. See the light coming in. See all the heaven saints, the archangels, masters, blessing you. They have their staffs of light blessing you. Heaven's animals, heaven's dragons, heaven's elephants, tigers, lions, bears. They're coming into your heart center, clearing the blockages. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace and harmony. Lula, lula, 
Lali, Lula, Lula, Lali, Lula, Lali, Lula, Lula, Lali, Lula, Lula, Lali, Lula. And now join me in tapping your five fingers together, like this, where the five fingers touch each other. Tap them together. You want to hear a thunk. You want them to make a noise. If you have long fingernails, then do the best you can. The five fingers represent the five major organs in your body which are connected to the five elements of life. The wood element, fire element, earth element, the water element, and the metal elements. Each of them impact our health. Each of them impact our energy, our wellness. Each of them impact blockages in our life that impact the inability to move forward. We are balancing the five elements. Repeat, soul tapping balances my five elements. Soul tapping balances my five elements. Soul tapping balances my five elements. Continue to repeat silently. The wood element is associated with anger. Anger causes stress. The fire element is associated with anxiety and depression, obviously related to stress. The earth element is related to worry, obviously related to stress. The metal element is related to grief and sadness, another form of stress. The water element is related to fear. All of these have direct associations to stress. All of these, when out of balance, inhibit you from manifesting what you desire. Balance five elements. Balance five elements. Balance five elements. Balance five elements. Balance my emotions. 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 Manifest positive things in my life. 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 Continue to tap. And now. Stop tapping, keep your eyes closed, connect to your body. What do you experience? Connect to your emotions. How are you feeling? Is your mind empty and clear? I await your sharing. Aloha and welcome to David Tripp. Welcome, Jess. Welcome, Bel Soprano. Aloha, Melinda. Peter Coyle, welcome. Aloha, Monica. Welcome to Christy Baker. Aloha, Richard. <coughs> welcome also to uh, Crystal Valencia and NNC. Aloha, Annette Blood. Welcome, Linda Jansen. Welcome also to Nelson Fiedler and Becky Lapal. Aloha to everybody else. If I haven't mentioned your name, welcome, Johnny. <clears throat> and also welcome to Kiva Isabel. So please share. Welcome San Clemente. <laughs> San Clemente Engine Bikers. <laughs> That's an interesting name. And welcome also to uh, Angela Diacomo. Very powerful practice, huh? Very simple practice. Very effective. 
Very effective practice. Remember, you can do this anywhere. This is for stress reduction anywhere under any condition. You can be in traffic, just connect. You know, give this hold of my, my fingers. Please tap each other. Or if you can't use both hands, you know, do the soul of my five elements. And please tap me to release stress. You tap anywhere in your body. You tap your heart center to release stress. <clears throat> it's very simple practice, very effective. It works because the soul knows. The soul has the, its intelligence. It knows exactly where your blockages are. So Facebook must be gathering the, uh, the answers because I don't see any yet. Either that or you're all still in, in the uh, emptiness condition and you haven't replied yet. <clears throat> um, so while you're replying, I want to make a calling again. Uh, I am uh, creating a private 12-week uh, program for awakening your spiritual channels. It is designed to uh, open and develop your five foundational energy sensors, and your seven chakra system, as well as your energy and matter channel, of which by the end of the 12 weeks, uh, if you do, you come to those and come to the practices, um, by the way, they are recorded, so even if we're on different time zones, it doesn't matter, um, then you will, at the end of that 12-week period, have cleared quite a bit of blockages in your life, simply because the vast majority of our karmic blockages are associated with our seven chakras, the energy and matter channel, and the five elements. Um, literally, it's the, it's the channel through which heaven and earth communicate to us. And so how can we uh, even have any form of happiness in life when we have these kinds of blockages? So that's, uh, I invite you to that. And if you look for Kristen's posts, Kristen Rojas, she, she drops in my links to that upcoming retreat. It'll start in about two weeks. And uh, like I said, it is recorded, so you can attend if you can't come live. And it will include a during the week group practice session in which we will do uh, practices for opening the spiritual channels. Okay. Um, so Kristen Strachan says that was completely amazing. I will definitely go back and repeat that often. She experienced a great deal of very vigorous tapping with both hands in a yin yang sort of pattern over her heart. When she closed her eyes, it was like goldfish swimming back and forth. Wonderful. Great sharing. Uh, thank you, Elizabeth, for all the hearts. Michelle says, mind is clear and body relaxed and tingling. David says he's sad he missed running and being free, but he knows all you guys are sending lots of love and lots of connection. Thank you, David. <coughs> Welcome, Shirley Hartree. Um, Julia says, okay, Monica came in late. That's okay. Watch it, guys. Johnny, thank you, Master Paul. He needed, he's feeling peaceful and very calm. Uh, very little wasted thoughts. Very good. Uh, so Kristen has posted. It's listed as Life Coaching for Your Soul Journey. Um, you can check that out. Welcome, Scott. And she says she noticed her left heel was aching a little, so she tapped there on her feet, and the pain released. Beautiful. Uh, Kiva says she feels much more balanced emotionally. Beautiful. CJ is very grateful. Thank you, Master Paul. Feeling lighter and vibration in her whole body. Susan, she's very hot and drained and feels so zoned out. <clears throat> yeah, that can happen. Uh, literally, it's because your body is holding onto so much stuff that you tap it out, your soul releases, all of that is kind of like um, building a house with stress-based toothpicks. When it falls, you know, you just, you don't know what happened because your house is built on stress-based toothpicks. Now you have the opportunity to rebuild yourself uh, with, the higher frequencies, love, light, compassion, gratitude following yesterday's practice, and the opportunity to um, not have so much stress in your life. That does happen. Some of you might feel a drain, and that's because you've been holding yourself up uh, actually from a place of falseness. Ali says uh, she was uncomfortable before with some anxiety. She's feeling very peaceful now. Wonderful. Atena, thank you. Uh, feeling very relaxed. Renee, thank you, Master Paul. Feeling much more calm and quiet mind. Wonderful, Renee. Thank you. Um, Melinda came in late. Have to do it again. I understand. <coughs> Shelly, she felt an area on her side that was hard uh, that has softened and the pain released. Wonderful. 
She was sweating a lot before the practice and release came also saw butterflies, blue skies, white clouds, and then very tall green trees. Uh, Suki's at peace. And Melinda says, feeling uh, powerful, felt drawn to try this. Wonderful, Melinda. Thank you for coming. I'm here Monday through Thursday. And uh, I encourage you to subscribe. All the new folks, I encourage you to hit my subscribe button. You'll be notified when I go live. <laughs> Most of the time, Facebook's a little finicky. Uh, but always, when you come to my Facebook page, Monday through Thursday at this time, you will catch me live. Um, Candy says, thank you, thank you, thank you. Very relaxed and calm, says uh, Crystal. So thank you all for coming. Uh, if if you are unable to attend uh, my 12-week program, I want to put an offer out to everybody <coughs> that um, that is my uh, my faithful followers. I know some of you have some financial difficulties. So here's my offer to all of you. If um, you have difficulty financially, okay, uh, and you really want to attend. If you can find one other person who honors the normal full honor fee, uh, I will give you the program at a 25% of the normal rate. This applies for those that truly have financial restrictions, okay? Some of you don't. Uh, you have to be honoring of heaven. Um, but if you have true financial restrictions and you get somebody to honor full, then you can join my 12 week course for 25%. Okay, so that's a dramatic reduction. You have to honor a little because of the amount of virtue that is released. I'll be offering extraordinary blessings during that 12-week program. Your spiritual channels will have tremendous, uh, tremendous blessings coming to you. And so I can't tell you how much it will serve you, but there has to be a small honor because, um, because of the virtue being released. All right, so um, if you have any questions about that, check with me. Uh, but be sure to share uh, my program with others. and. Um, just have them tell me or you tell me, hey, my friend, you know, Jamie signed up and uh, you said I can get it for 25% of the normal value, um, please. And then I'll give you that discount code, okay? So I love you all. I thank you for coming. I thank you for sticking around this entire time. For those that came in late, um, just uh, come back to this recording. We'll start up in about five minutes. Uh, if you're not a Facebook friend, uh, do so. And tell others about me. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. Mahalo.